In this video, I'd like to take a look at Ubuntu 11.10 Alpha 2. Um, so let's get stuck into it. Um, as you will be able to tell, the interface looks almost identical to Ubuntu 11.04. We still have U, um, the Ubuntu um, logo in the top left hand corner. And if you click forward, there is a search field which you can you know, use to search for applications, etc. And I believe that you can pin a few of your favourite applications here. Uh, we have a networking icon, volume control with the Banshee controls, which are always nice. Uh, sound settings. Uh, we have you can set up your chat accounts, broadcast accounts, email, and Ubuntu One. You know you have the time and the calendar, which is um, nice. And you can obviously um, change the settings. Uh, you can set the status of um, your chat and broadcast accounts by clicking on your username. And you can obviously lock the screen, switch user accounts, log out, suspend, hibernate, restart, shut down, switch to a classic guest um, session and change the system settings. Um, let's take a look at the default applications in the dock. Um, I also think that the bubble um, looks different when you hover over an icon. I could be wrong, though I'm pretty sure it's different. We have the home folder. We have um, Firefox um, 5. Um, I have installed Ubuntu 11.10 Alpha 2 inside of a VirtualBox machine. Uh, most of the time I run it off of a live CD. However, Firefox um, just refuses to open. Um, so I'm not sure if it's just for my install or if it's um, for all of the Alpha 2 releases. Though um, I'm pretty sure it is um, Firefox um, 5. We have LibreOffice Writer, Calc and Impress which are the Microsoft equivalents of Word, Excel and PowerPoint. We have the Ubuntu um, Software Center, which I don't believe um, has changed from um, Ubuntu 11.04. Um, we have Ubuntu One. We have um, Workspaces. Um, I like, I believe they have made a slight change. Uh, now when you click on a workspace, it doesn't go straight to the workspace. Um, you could, for example, change your mind and click back and select a different workspace. Uh, in the past, you still had to click try, so it just didn't do the zooming in effect on the first click. Um, it's a very small thing, though it's something I like. We have applications. I believe there's a bit of a bug here. You can open applications, so you can't close it by clicking the applications button again. You can by clicking the Ubuntu logo, though you shouldn't have to do that. Um, and another thing I don't like is there's no real way to view the applications in categories. It's just, you know, it's messy. Um, you know, the whole purpose of Unity was to make things, you know, simpler and to give you more, you know, real estate on your screen. Though you can't, um, or as far as I can tell, you can't view um, all of the applications in categories. You can refine your search and go accessories or internet, though to be honest it's you know a bit of a pain in the ass. As soon as you um, click on applications you should be presented with um, you know you should be presented with most frequently used installed apps for download. You click installed and then it should have all the different categories with the applications under the categories. At the moment it's a bit of a mess and I'm not at all um, happy with that. We have files and folders and you know I can click on documents and nothing happens. I can open the file manager though. You know, it, it just um the Alpha 2 release of Ubuntu 11.10 feels um very buggy. Let's take a look at the default applications, keeping in mind I can't sort them into categories, so I'm just going to um mention the ones that stand out. We have Solitaire. Banshee Media Player, which I believe is um, the default media player in Ubuntu. You know, it's a pretty nice media player. Um, also, the file manager they use is um, pretty nice. Which file manager do they use? Oh, yeah, Nautilus. So, yeah, Nautilus is um, pretty nice as well. Uh, what else do we have for Zero um, for disk burning? Uh, what else do we have? Empathy for instant internet or instant messaging. Uh, we have Firefox, I believe it's Firefox um, 5. We have Gribba. You know, the last time I used that, it you know, could have done with quite a few improvements, and that's probably still the case. Um, you know, we obviously have LibreOffice, you know, Calc, Draw, Impress, Math, Writer. 
uh, messaging and VoIP accounts. Um, we have mine, Samba Jong, which are games. Uh, we have Movie Player. I believe that's Sam Player, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, that seems to be pretty much. Oh, sorry, pretty much it. Uh, we have um, Thunderbird. Uh, and yeah, that seems to be pretty much it, really. Um, so yeah, you know, this release just um, feels um, very buggy. So hopefully in the future, Beta will release candidate releases. They will have ironed out a lot of the bugs and hopefully changed um, the way their applications, um, you know, work or the applications menu works. Um, you can also right-click on applications and you also get categories which is a little easier to use though you know then again it just opens up the menu with um, a refined search more or less of that category um, I believe um, when you right click and you get this menu they should let another menu open out so you don't actually leave the desktop well that's just um, my opinion though um, tell me what you think about the video um, in the comments section and thanks for watching